Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do my videos and give you information about things that are happening around the world. At about 6.58 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there was a magnitude 2.8 earthquake near Fern Prairie, the state of Washington. 798 people said they felt this earthquake. Here's some of the felt reports, and USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. A lot of the people said it shook for about 2 to 3 seconds. Many people felt it indoors, outdoors by a few, and at night some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors would have been rattling. Automobiles would have been rocking noticeably. Here's some of the felt reports on EMSC. In Vancouver, they said they felt it uh, shaking lightly, about two seconds. Another one from Vancouver said it felt like a big tree fell next to the house. Another one said, um, Camus said it shook for about three seconds. Um, another one from the same location, light jolt and rolling, no damage. Now there was another one that said, uh, they're east of Vancouver. The bed shook and the patio door ended up opening. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. I have been waiting to download the data. And yeah, I'm not surprised. You can see here for almost an hour, it's continually requesting data. I do have one site that did um, hook up. But the earthquake there is so small and it's quite a ways away from uh, where it occurred. Yeah, it only shows up as a a little one little jolt there. It's currently almost eight a.m. there Pacific Standard Time. Hopefully, I'll get the data by the time I get done with this video. Here's the location of two of the sites that I'm trying to get the data from. Um, both of them are from Por Portland, not too far from where this earthquake occurred which occurred along the uh, Lacamas Lake Fault. And there you can see Lacamas Lake, the fault zone. It evidently goes all the way up, possibly to Vancouver, and probably extends uh, quite a ways down south. You can see it crosses over the Columbia River. Let's zoom in to where that location was at. Yeah, a lot of people, almost 800 people sent in felt reports. There's a lot of houses there. And it happened right underneath Sky Ridge Middle School. Wow. Yeah, luckily it was when school was more than likely out. I don't know if they're um, still having school during the, during the summer, during the daytime. Here where I'm at, um, school is out for the summer using Google Earth here's an image of the school and it's like OMG yeah look at all the kids there but it is a brick building yeah brick and concrete building I hope it's reinforced uh, they got some metal brackets holding up this overhang for the uh, gym, it says here in the cafe. Oh my goodness. Let's go down a little bit farther. Yeah, their faces have been blurred out, but um, there's a security camera here on the roof. Those brackets or poles to hold it up. Uh, yeah, you make you wonder if there's a, even a moderate earthquake. Would they hold? A little bit further down on the building. Yeah, look at this wall. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my goodness. I would be very concerned, you know, if my children were going to this school. So here's another image, and yeah, look at that roof there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Right smack dab. Yeah, that could be classrooms. I don't know. 
So it says here, Sky Ridge Middle School. Supposedly there's 820 students, grades 6 through 8. And they evidently have some great students there. Uh, test scores are above average. Um, students have high or strong academic skills. And the school is doing a better job in supporting academic growth than most other schools. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for data to download. Yeah, and that other one. That's the only one that's connected, and that's way over on the coast. So did you feel this earthquake? If so, please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, always be prepared for any type of disaster. Have a plan where you're going to uh, meet family if it happens, you know, when you're working or at school, things like that. Have two weeks of water, uh, medical supply, food. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. If you wish to support my work, which many of you do, and I want to thank you very much, I'm also on Patreon. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.